Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be replacing the power supply which has the back, it has the inverters in it for the backlight on this on Roku TV. This is a model, let's see if I can get it here in the video, 100012, oh I can barely see it, give me one moment, 588. And the issue with this TV is whenever you turn it on, you'll see like Roku pop up on the TV for a second and it goes right back out. And the backlight in this TV turns off right away. There are screws you have to remove. There's two screws here. There are screws around the outside perimeter of the TV, the whole way around. And then on the bottom, there are screws that are a little bit, uh, the head design on them is a little bit thinner the whole way along the bottom as well. And if you're using their feet, you have to remove the feet to get the bottom off. And of course, you unplug all your cables. Now, I do want to warn you about this power supply. Even with the power supply off, you can get shocked by it. I found out the hard way. And my finger smelt burnt afterwards. So, be careful with this repair. I am not responsible if you shock yourself or hurt yourself. Okay? We actually have this already removed... Uh, the screws out of it so we can get this up because our part just came in and i'm gonna grab the cord i'm gonna plug it in so i can show you guys what it's doing let me plug it in now like i said be careful and the remote is underneath the cover see right up there by that leg thank you okay let's see if we can see the backlight turn on You, it flashed for a second. I'm not sure if you guys saw it. This part right over here, you can see the backlight through it. I'm going to turn it off again. And I'm going to press power again. And we'll see if it lights up. It may not have turned off. I'm trying to control it by this remote control. This Roku remote. Are there any other spots the light comes through? I think they come through almost... All these spots here, I think. Even that one, I think. That looks like it has metal behind it, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. I know this white one down here does. Okay, let me try this again. Okay, right there. When you first turn on, you saw it flash for one second, and it went right back out again. And that's what the issue of this uh, power supply is doing. These two wires right here go over are for the backlights. And this main cord here goes over to the main circuit board. And those are the only three wires you have to remove... And there are four screws along the bottom and three screws across the top you have to remove. But of course, unplug the TV first. Be careful. You can you can touch this board by the edges. But up here on the other side of this, tra uh, of this transformer, if you touch anywhere up across there, you're going to get some sparks and stuff like that. Which I'll show you here with the screwdriver here after we remove the board. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all those screws. And we will be returning... Once I have all those screws out, actually, let me just go ahead and remove the wires first before we remove the screws. If you look there, right there, that wire there just has this clip on it. You unclip it. These two up here have, if you look, they just pull off in that direction. My older brother is helping me out right now and removing the screws for me. I was going to pause the video, but that works too. We haven't even opened up our part that we bought on eBay. The, the trick is we have two of these TVs. So we're, we were able to switch out the board from one TV to the other TV to make sure it was the board. And this TV is the same as an Element TV. Except for the Element, I believe, has a different main board in it with more inputs on it than what this one here does. So, it, they use the same exact power supply. So, this repair here will work for an Element TV or an On TV. Okay, yeah, go ahead and flip the board over. Like that, that's good. Right there. Now, I got this screwdriver. Now, like I said, the board's been unhooked. Everything's unhooked from it. But if you watch across here, as you can see, there's still juice in that board. And if you touch it, you will fill it. That's why I was using this screwdriver here to show you guys. 
you got to be careful with this board. Like I said, I found out the hard way, and my finger almost smelled like it was barbecued a little bit. I'm still where I touched not touching it. this damn board. It's okay. No, that's the only spot it I found that had juice okay, in it. It's okay, but I don't That's the only it. spot I found that had juice in I it. Still don't even, it. Even the parts one, I'm going to double check to make sure there's no juice in that parts one before I put, uh, before <laughs> we start touching it. Hey, but then, what, I'll get crap out of me. Hopefully it's not all wrapped up and wrapped up in plastic and all taped oh, up to where it's hard to it, get it out. It's in paper. It's in paper. Well, that, that shouldn't be too bad. I've had them where they had so much tape on them, I just couldn't get them out. What, how else but the bubble have. wrap and paper should be okay. You should be yeah, able to touch it anyway. You should be able to just start flipping that over a little bit. We'll and flip it. it. Hopefully whoever sold it to us decharged it already on his own. There you go. Flip it over that way. So probably shouldn't drop it, but it's on bubble. Okay, let's see if there's any juice in this one we got for parts. It looks like it's already been decharged. So we're okay on this one. Okay. But if you look here, it's the same board. Flip it over. The plug goes on the bottom there. Mm -hmm. If you look here, it's the same exact type of board. Making sure the screws are lined up. Where is the part, the bat, where we just, oh, you took it over there to the I chair. I took it over there. I okay. Just, still don't trust it. I get shocked too darn easy. I mean, look. Look at my... And all these oh. little wire hookups look okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because we didn't check over the board, like I said, to make sure look, everything looked good. You started hooking it up right away. Now, really not yeah, don't want to, what you want to do is you only put, hook up that, have the screws loose to begin with. Otherwise, I had problems lining them up before. I'm usually not too, too bad at times. Well, at I tried times. that before, and I had problems before with the other TV that I put back together. I'm usually. And then I had to go back through and tighten them back down. But after this yeah, is in and the wire is hooked back up. There be only three left. After that one there, yeah, it should be three left. No, two up two. Well, you already got one in the top. I mean, yeah, there's two yeah, more yeah. at the top that need to be put in. I scared in. myself for a second that I might have dropped the one and have you find it. No, 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 we're fine. Also, when we took apart this TV, this board here was loose. The screw was not slightly in cockeyed, so from the factory, it was never put together properly. Slightly? Is that what you Oh, call it was really slightly. slightly. So we had to take the screw back out to get the board to set in right for the wireless card. And that's how this TV came from the factory. And it's like, if we wouldn't have taken it apart to repair the other TV. You don't need, and you don't need to over tighten them, just a little snug. Just make sure that they're all snug because they do have grounding points in the bottom of them. Okay, grab that power cord and I'm going to go pop and it'll make you, oh, actually no, we'll plug, hook up the wires first. I'm hooking it up, I'm not. Yeah, don't listen to me, hook the wires up first. My fingers work today. I have a rough time. Give me my screwdriver. It, it's a simple push. Just my fingers are not working well. There we go. It's pushed in for that one. No, this is the only thing that's left. Simple, simple. Yeah, just hook up that wire there. Should be able to do it. Right. This uh, almost everybody should be able to do this. Like I showed you, you know, where to be careful of. You can discharge it with a screwdriver, but make sure you're holding onto the plastic handle of the screwdriver and you're not touching the metal part of it when you're trying to do that. Okay, we just pl plugged in the new power supply. Now let's hit the power button on the remote. And hopefully it works. Did they sell us a bad power supply? Oh, you have it unplugged here. Oh, it came unplugged from down there. That's yeah. why we're not getting anything out of it. I was checking. I was wondering. Okay, guys. Oh, it don't, it don't fit real tight. That's why. No, that cord does fit kind of loose. Okay, let me hit power. I hit power and I don't see anything. We got a bad board. I'm thinking we just bought a bad board on eBay. And there's some power going through the board. I don't even see the light lighting up on the TV at all. It was. Wait. 
This this fiber optic light. Oh, the on. fiber optic lights on. Yeah. But I don't see the backlight turning on. No. I bet you they had a backlight TV that that the backlight wasn't coming on, and they're like, "Well, we'll just take it apart and saw the bar boards online." Oh, bad board. Uh huh. We got a bad board from them. Because now we get nothing out of it. Well, that stinks. Let me unplug it again. Yeah, unplug it. Okay, the fiber optic went out. Make sure. Yeah, double check. That all looks good. Plug it back in again. Okay, the fiber optic didn't come on. So let's hit power. Yeah, the power. And it's not, didn't come unplugged from down there. No, we got power on the yeah. flashing light here, and the fiber optics now on. You, yeah, they sold us a bad board. Yeah, they didn't get no power to the LCD. Yeah, the other one gave power for a second. This one does nothing. Okay, might as well unplug it then. Mom's going to have to start up an eBay dispute. Yep. Let's stop. I must confess that we're on our third board now. The second board came and it wouldn't show any type of display at all. It wouldn't even light up for a second. So I just installed the third board. I noticed afterwards I went through uh, the pictures of the original listing and two of the surface mount uh, components were missing off the other board. And the eBay seller was trying to convince me that that was a new version, that they were not supposed to be there. But you could clearly see where, where it looked like they were plucked off the board. And the seller would not admit that it was a non-working board. So I had to start up an eBay dispute to get the money back for that board. And now we're on the third board. Now I'm going to hit the power button on the remote with the third board. And if you look here, all these little holes here have all lit up now with this new board. So, the, the last time, whenever you guys were, well, actually earlier in this video, you will see no light was coming out at all, out of any of these holes. And if you look, there's all types of light coming out of them, because this board actually works. So, the seller was trying to convince me, oh, there's nothing wrong with his board, that my backlight was bad. As you can see, that is not the issue. At one bit, you can see all the light coming out of these little ports now i'm going to finish putting this tv back together let me go ahead and turn it off and you'll see that the like and all these here is going to go right back out Boop. there we go tv turned off you can see the light disappeared so all it was was a bad power supply with the inverter part of it and these tvs are known for that issue again uh, this tv is an on tv but there was made by element and there's also an element model number as well that has the same power supply in it and the same uh, power supply issues. So if you run into this, uh, into this issue, like I said earlier, at your own risk, be careful because this board still has power in it even after it's all disconnected. That for the LED backlight, there's an area that holds power and it's enough that it made, made my finger smell like it was burning when I accidentally touched it. So just a warning to you guys. If you're going to do this, do it at your own risk. You may want to touch it by the edges of the board. Be careful not to touch up there. Even if it's not working like we're only lights up for a second, the board still held power. So I'm going to go ahead and unhook this power supply. I'm going to finish putting this back together with all those screws that I have in the bowl over there. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. And remember to click like and subscribe.